Hi everyone! It's Monday. Sorry I missed last Monday, but I really was watching that giraffe and the giraffe still hasn't given birth yet, so I gave up. But um, this is, I guess, my first um, session of Daisy Cottage Schoolhouse. And I know I still haven't mailed that gift off to you for picking that name, but it will be coming soon. Wink, wink. <laughs> okay, so this is what we're going to make. You guys wanted me to show you how to do this um, My Log Cabin quilt that I did and it's really scrappy there's not really any measuring going on because that's just the way I do it you can do it a different way you can do it with um, sew it onto paper you can measure each little thing and have them all the same but as you can see here I don't I use scraps and I are you looking down here uh -oh. Uh -oh. little scraps like different widths um, I don't try to make sure everything is the same it's because you're using from your scrap pile so first thing I do is um, I just at random cut some different size strips here because I obviously I think I gave away my scraps. So I'm going to start out with two squares, but not really. They don't have to be square. OK, um, as long as one. OK, this is like two and a half inches and this is two and a half, but it could be two and a half by two. It could be two and a half by one, whatever you want to do. And I'm going to sew them together. And that's like the oh, that's oh my god I'm sorry this is kind of the original way you know when you do a log cabin and you have the two the two pieces you start in the center and then you work your way around so this is gonna be my very center and this is my top now I'm gonna go to the right I don't know if you're supposed to go to the right or the left I don't know I'm going to the right so uh, I just picked up a piece um, let me just do this one I just picked up a strip and it's not two and a half inches I'm gonna lay it right here on to my my right side. I'm gonna line that up. Okay, see that? I'm not gonna pin or anything, and I'm just gonna sew because it's really, really scrappy, and um, I am not worried about it not lining up. Scrappy. Exactly. Okay, so I'm gonna sew this. You can pin if you want. But I mean, if you really, really like it to be exactly perfect, you might want to pin, but then you'd probably want to cut it all the right size too, which I don't. Okay, so now. Boy, that's scrappy. Oh, see, my thing didn't even match. Zip. So I'm going to lay a ruler on here, and this is slippery, and I'm lining it up. So I am straight, I am doing this straight. I'm going across here and down here. Okay, you see that? And I'm gonna just cut off that excess, all right? So there's my next part of my log cabin and see how it's just a different size. And then the next one, I'm gonna go here. And again, I'll just pick any of these fabrics. And this one is a different size again. It's not the same size as any of these. Okay, and here I'm not going to cut this end off and make it nice and straight so that I can line up here and here. All I do, and we're pretending I pressed, is I go up a little bit above so that, see, I can trim that off when I'm done. Okay, can you see that? That's scrappy, baby. Okay. <clears throat> now I'm going to lay this down. And remember again, this is um, above here, but I'm not worried about that because I'm going to trim it off because we're just using scraps and this is supposed to be kind of a fast kind of way to make the log cabin block. I mean, if you really want it to be at random. Okay. Okay, so again, I've got, can you see that? I've got the top. Can you see it? This overhangs, this overhangs. So what I'm going to do, and I'm not pressing, which is a problem here. I don't like this. Okay, so I'm going to go right here along the edge again. I'm going to make sure it's straight across the top and right here, and I'm going to cut that off, and then I'm going to do the same thing over here. Cut it off, and make sure that you're all lined up straight. And if you're not exactly, that doesn't matter either. Okay. So here we are. We started here with our square. We went to the top, the right, right. Now we're coming down here to this right. And you can just keep on going and make them it as big as you want. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm kinda gonna go, I think, with um, pastel -y kind of colors on this um, little quilt. 
Okay, and as, again, I've got it overlapping because I'm not gonna trim it off square and make sure my piece is lined up at the top. I'm just gonna do this and then for sewing, pulling this down and you could pin if you want, but just kind of give it a little, okay. And there's our tail again. We're gonna cut that off. Okay. We're gonna flip it around and get rid of the other end so that it's nice and straight. Okay. And now we have this piece. Okay. I'm gonna come down here. My cameraman's getting tired. Okay, now I'm gonna go with kind of a wider piece. Oh, damn. where I'm gonna fire you. Okay. We're gonna sew along the edge again. Okay, trimming. So are you getting the idea that we just keep going around and around and around until you want a block the size that you want? And then what I do is I kind of keep on going. I make a lot of blocks. And then at the end, I will because they may not all be the same when I'm done, all of these blocks, because I'm using at random pieces of fabric. So what I do at the end is I take all of my blocks and I'll square them up to one size. So that's why some of them may end up with this tiny little piece on the end here, and some may end up with a bigger piece on the end. And it doesn't matter to me. There's, it's just a scrappy, scrappy quilt. And I, I hope that you can see. Okay, come on. I hope that you can see the scrappiness about it and see how this piece here even came out um, really thin at the end, but it was a color I wanted to throw in there and I did. I just threw it in. Um, sometimes I'll use all the lights. Sometimes I go all the way around it with the dark. It, it's up to you. Do whatever you want to do with it. Okay, so I hope that made sense. Um, so some, somebody asked how I stay organized in my sewing room. And I can show you. Go ahead. You can see how organized I am. Okay, you don't have to show everything. Mm, looking good. See, I don't say organized. I start from one project and jump to another. And um, I have piles here on this table. And I, I don't stay organized. That's how I stay organized. Okay, thank you. I hope that wasn't too boring. I hope you understand how to make a log cabin block. And I'll see you next week.